y'all so welcome back to another weekly vlog so y'all it's monday and i really want to start this week off doing something different like real real different so y'all i'm about to start doing this little workout video that i found on youtube it's basically just like a like a hip hop dance routine so like hip hop zumba so i think i'm gonna start doing this y'all because being in the house all the time and working from home like this quarantine stuff can definitely have you feeling like really lazy and like you're not really being productive even if you are because it's like i still get up and i'm still going to work but i'm just not you know moving around like that so i be kind of feeling a little lazy sometimes so i think i'm going to try to do this i was reading like the comments and people were saying that they started doing this during quarantine because they felt like they just was getting really really lazy like even if you know you getting up and you clocking into work and you doing your job it just still feel like you're not really like you know being active so i'm about to start doing this and um i'm gonna show y'all what i like to use because i've never done this video before but i used to do other workout videos but um now i'm gonna try to get back on it so yeah, um, this is the waist trainer that I like to use. It's basically just this little um, regular waist trainer. I started using this little Sweet Sweat workout enhancer. Um, and the reason why I started using that was because when I ordered the wrap, it came with a small little sample. And I used the small little sample and I really, really liked it. So I went online and I bought Basically, it. Basically, it's just like a gel that you rub like, you know, on your stomach or whatever. Normally, I rub it on my stomach and then I put on um, some Saram wrap and then I put on my waist trainer. So I'll put this on first, then I'll wrap my stomach in Saram wrap and then I'll wrap my stomach in the waist trainer. And what it does is it just allows my stomach to like sweat a lot. Now, I haven't used this consistently, so I can't really say that these benefits actually really work because I haven't used used it on a consistent basis like I told y'all I would use it and then I would stop using it for a while so I'm gonna start trying to do it more now on a regular basis especially now that I'm just home so I'm gonna use that and y'all I'm gonna try using these again today and these are basically just um, thigh and arm trimmers just like a waist trimmer it's a thigh and arm trimmer so you just wrap it around your thighs and your arms the same way you do with your waist trimmer so yeah i'm about to get up y'all and i'm about to put my stuff on i'm gonna come and show y'all how everything looks when i put it on so keep in mind in this next clip i'm just gonna basically show y'all what the waist trimmer looks like when i put it on and i already have on my sweet sweat and i already have my saran wrap on so y'all won't be able to see that but y'all will just see how snatched and how held in i am once i do those three steps hey y'all so it is wednesday i haven't really vlogged that much in the beginning of this week because i really wasn't feeling too good y'all it's that time of the month and your girl just been really, really tired and sleepy and cranky. Y'all, I've been having like cramps out of this world. So I just needed a break, okay? I needed a break. The first couple days, y'all, usually be the worst for me. I don't know if it's the same with y'all, but like I be going through it. But now that I'm feeling a lot better, I'm about to get up, y'all, and go to the grocery store. Y'all know I love to cook, so I'm about to go get me something to eat. And I also don't want to you know go to nobody fast food restaurant just to get pissed off so might as well go and make my own food because i know that's gonna be good all the time i think i want to cook maybe like some salmon or something just something real quick nothing that's gonna take too long to cook because i'm not in the mood to be standing up on my feet you know doing no real real cooking just something real quick and easy and that's what i'm gonna do and leave it at that also y'all on top of me being tired y'all i'm sore as hell because of that zumba like y'all that next morning when i got up my legs felt like like spaghettios bitch like my legs felt like, like this <laughs> like my legs was like this y'all when the quarantine is over i want to start going to the gym but i think i want to get a trainer like i'm not even gonna go and bs i want to go and actually have somebody like they're telling me what i need to do and showing me how to use like the proper equipment the right way i'm not gonna do no oh i need to find a gym buddy so i can go and have on cute outfits and take pictures no i'm gonna go and get me an actual trainer that i'm gonna pay and i'm gonna have have that person train me because y'all even though i'm losing weight i need the tone because you know you lose weight but baby that's that skin still be there so, so it's either gonna be tone it up or nip tuck <laughs> okay y'all so i just um 
went to the grocery store. I didn't vlog because I was really in and out. This was all I got. And I'm about to make dinner. I'm gonna have some salmon, um, bacon wrapped asparagus, which I've done this on my channel before. And then y'all, I'm gonna show y'all these um, stuffed mushrooms that I got from Publix. And then yeah, that's gonna be my dinner. But y'all, I also got these. Have y'all ever heard of these before? Honestly, y'all, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, but where I'm from, we call them bullets. I haven't had these in forever. Like this reminds me of back in the day when I used to be at my grandma house on the east side. And um, there used to be this man that would drive around with like fruit on his truck. It used to be like a, like a, a truck and then it would have like, you know, something attached to the back with like all this fruit, strawberries, bananas, oranges, apples, mangoes, like everything. And then they used to have these. So y'all, it just took me back to like my childhood cause the fruit man, he would drive around um, in his truck from house to house and he'll like get out his car and come to the door and ask you if you wanted fruit. And then like my grandma, she'll be like, go get her purse and she'll get all of this fruit y'all. And now that I'm thinking about it, was that sanitary? I mean, it was like in containers and like the strawberries used to be in like, y'all remember those strawberries that used to be in the, um, in the green little basket? Like it used to be like that. So it was like covered, but I don't know y'all. So anyways, I don't know. That might just be a Florida thing, but we definitely had a man riding around selling us fruit. Um, tell me if they used to do that where y'all from too. But anyways, y'all, so yes. And let me show y'all these mushrooms. So, um, I think, hold on. Yeah, here they are. Okay, y'all, so these are the mushrooms and they are baby portobello mushrooms, crab meat stuffed, okay? And basically, y'all, um, y'all know Publix already have their little deli. I don't even know if I have to speak on it but if you don't have a Publix where you live it's like a grocery store and they have a deli and their deli is really really good they have like all type of stuff so um in this particular like seafood section they have like everything you can imagine like all type of different stuff chicken whatever whatever and all you got to do is just pop it in the oven like it's already made and all you got to do is pop it in the oven and it's really good because again Publix deli their food their subs um, everything is good. They chicken. Y'all already know. I don't, even, I don't even know why I'm doing all this. Y'all already know about Publix. If you got a Publix, where are you from? Then I don't even got to say nothing else. So yeah, y'all, it said this really only take 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to put this in like once I kind of get done with this. This is going to take the longest, the um, bacon wrap asparagus. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I literally only made enough for tonight because I want to use the rest of the asparagus for something else. So I'm just going to throw this in, y'all. And this usually take like 20 minutes, really. Um, I like to like flip it a bunch of times so that the bacon can cook all the way through because if you just lay it on the top, it won't. And then um, if y'all have seen my video before, y'all know that I also um, put like, uh, I drizzle some honey over the top. So I'm going to do that later. But yeah, um, and then I'm going to put it on 350. <laughs> to get ugly. Hey y'all, so it is Saturday and it is 520 and really I had a pretty boring day until Chelsea um, texted me and invited me to come out for drinks. So I basically got my ass up, I got ready, and that's where I'm at now. So we're at this little rooftop bar. Um, it's like a restaurant at the bottom and then they have a rooftop and it's called River and Post. So this is where I'm gonna be at. Right now what I'm wearing is the neon dress that I got from that store that y'all was with me at on one of my vlogs. So if you didn't 
see that vlog then go watch it but i'm wearing that dress y'all and i'm gonna try to get me some good pictures so y'all can really really see you know how i decided to wear it i was gonna wear it like the typical neon colorful way but i kind of decided to go a different route um i pretty much uh paired it with this leopard um purse and these leopard sandals i could have definitely went and just like did all neon green but i felt like that was real typical so i decided to just throw in like a leopard print with the green and i felt like that was kind of cute y'all will see my shoes in a minute so let me get in there y'all so i can just start getting me some drinks the sun is out y'all say hey to Aaliyah. hey Aaliyah. not your hey, and whitney so I'm excited to see hey, what this video is about. Yeah, I'm excited to see that too because I want that name just because it's cute. So cute. Ooh. Hey, we Hi, give we're giving a lot right now on this rooftop. Yeah. Looking real, real cute. Real shit. This tastes like pickle juice. Shut up. So it's nasty. Wait a minute. I actually like pickle juice, but I went. So we at River and Post, which is a restaurant slash rooftop. It's like a real vibe, y'all. The only thing that I don't like is how on the rooftop you can't order certain stuff. That's so silly yeah. to me. And like it's is hungry. Exactly. It's like a restaurant downstairs and then up top is a rooftop. But you can only order certain things on the rooftop. And basically all the good food is downstairs so we finna just get some drinks on the rooftop and then we're gonna go downstairs and just get us something to eat i'm probably just gonna get some oysters because i got food back at the house but just to put something on my stomach i'll probably get some oysters <sighs> y'all that's the one thing <laughs> that lip gloss shit is cute and all Girl, <laughs> but when you in the wind it's, okay. it's the pinky up for me hey y'all you look real cute. Is this from the Nova? No. Real cute. Yeah, we gotta get some good pictures. Cause to That's get what cute, I came for. Exactly. <laughs> to get cute and not get no good pictures is a fucking disgrace. I feel good too, girl. One more. Oh. That, yeah. One more or two at the most. I might get another. I might get two more. I'm good. It really don't take nothing at all with me. I'll be on this flow. <laughs> Girl, and I gotta remember I drove. You ain't driving? Uh -uh. You ain't driving? That's good though. It's a nice breeze too. That was my It's a really, really, really nice view, y'all. So I really like this little place because especially with it being hot out, it's really nice to come sit out here. And y'all, let me show y'all something. This right here, <laughs> this building right here is my job. <laughs> this is my job, y'all. I'm just working from home right now, but this is the actual building that I would be in right now if it weren't for COVID, okay? So, isn't that crazy, y'all? My job is like literally right there. So yeah, but um, this is just the view. I wanted to come and show y'all and Y'all already know when I'm with my friends, I do like to enjoy myself and be in the moment. So I just wanted to come and show y'all the view and, you know, just show y'all what we're looking at right now. I'm already feeling my drink, y'all. I'm already feeling my drink. Y'all know I'm a lightweight, but yeah. Why do things just look like this? Baby, take that up with your photographer. Hey, what's up with your mom? You sent them? Oh, yeah. On my fucking dog. <laughs> All I did was take the picture and you stuck this. Let me see what's wrong with it. Can you just airdrop it to me, please? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> 
<laughs> what you want? What's this? Oh, I see fried oyster house. Ceviche with what, Whitney? Snapper? Snapper, yes. With Snapper. Where's the snap? It must be somewhere in there, but I'm we are about to try it out. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all. I like your camera better than mine. All right, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm about to try this ceviche for the first time. I'm going to try it on camera. Real quick. This will be my first time trying it, y'all. Uh, so, what do you think? It's good. What, what is the flavors you're tasting? Tell me about it. You're not gonna like it. But I know. It's really good. I know. I know. I know. It got onion. It tastes. You taste lime. I don't taste no snapper though. I see a lot of avocado. She finna make the glass fall. All right. Bye, y'all. We eat. Right. Uh, okay, y'all. So I'm back home, and I ended up having a really, really, really good time. I got like the fried shrimp and scallops, and I got like this gouda grits. So y'all, the grits is like like regular grits with just like gouda cheese, and it's like really, really, really good. So I got that, and I got like another drink. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was like a strawberry lemonade type drink and it was really really good so at this point y'all i am a little little tipsy what's up y'all it's sunday and i done had a really long day i got up early i cleaned up my house because my house was a mess so i cleaned up my house and then i had to edit a video i uploaded a video um so when you're done watching this go watch the last video that i uploaded so what I'm about to do now is, well, what I'm doing is I'm in here cooking dinner and really I'm just not eating nothing special. Just eating some shrimp and some salmon, y'all. Hold on real quick. While I'm talking to y'all, I don't want this to burn. So while I'm bored and I ain't got nothing to do on this good Sunday night, I'm about to see if I can really turn my vision into life with these little foam balls that I got. And I actually got these a while ago and I just never did it. So... This is what I'm about to do, y'all. I have these two little foam balls. And I think I showed these to y'all in a previous video a while back. I don't know why I've never done them. They've just been sitting here. I bought all of the stuff a long time ago and just never did it, y'all. I'm so trifling. So, y'all, let me show y'all what I'm about to do. These are actually candle holders, okay? Plain old candle holders. And I think I got these from Marshalls. Yeah, I got these from Marshalls and they were like $9.99 a piece. So I'm trying to do something different because I got these candle holders because I really thought that they were cute. Like I like the color and like the champagne, but I didn't want to put no candles on top because I just feel like that's so played out and that's so like old school. So y'all, I have this vision in my mind, okay, where I'm going to wrap these balls with gold glitter. Okay, so in my mind, the idea is really, really cute. But I don't know if it's going to come out looking cheap once I actually do it. So, y'all, we finna see how this turn out. And the idea is just for it to be like a little statue. Like, keep in mind, I still have my desktops on my um, living room table. Once they give us a definite yes or no if we stay at home for good, which I'm hoping we are. Because, y'all, side note, when we went to the bar yesterday um the rooftop bar it was really close by my job and once i left out of there i ended up like right on the street where my job was and y'all it was just so weird because i just haven't been down there in so long but anyways once they give us a 
definite yes or no then i'm gonna buy me like an official desk and set everything up and then i want to have these sitting on my table like as a you know like as a centerpiece and i have something that i'm gonna put in the middle so y'all this is the tape that i'm gonna use so i'm basically just gonna wrap the ball with this tape and then just have it like sitting on top and obviously the tape is like gold glitter so i'm gonna see if it works the thing that kind of sold me and made me think that it might work is right here on the label if y'all look it says that you can like they have it covered with like leopard tape and right here it says duct tape leopard i, I don't know why they did that but basically on the label it's showing that you can cover it with the tape so I guess it just matters like how many times I wrap it around to make it look right. So I'll just figure that out as I go. So let's see. Oh, the tape is real, real thin. I don't know why I thought it was going to be thick. So I thought it was going to be bulky and it was probably going to be hard to like wrap it around. But it's really, really thin. Let me show y'all. Oh, yeah, this is really thin. Oh, y'all, I think this going to work. I already think it's going to work and I haven't even tried it. I think it's going to work because of how thin the tape is. For some reason, I was thinking it was going to be like thick, regular tape for some reason. And I thought that I was going to have to like wrap it around a bunch of times so it wouldn't look bulky and uneven. But it looks like it's probably going to be easy to do it. So it actually might turn out right. The dad's the bitchy, the schedule busy. My daddy not ready, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been here for 10, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her to look up, cause it's snowing in Texas. But for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and Lil Baby, the going crazy. Weezy produced it, and Weezy have made me. And she had it done, so she got a Mercedes. The money records, the army, the navy. It ran me 10,000, I threw it like Brady. The form is yellow, like Tracy and Katie. I trust in my they never betray me. Met all these they sweeter than Sadie When I started out, I just took what they I took that long strip off because it was really really wrinkly and I tried to do like a shorter one but y'all it's still really really wrinkly like it don't look right so I'm like should I do it all over the whole thing or is it gonna look like this but does it look bad like this like tell me y'all I don't know what I should do I don't know if I should just keep trying to do it or if I should just maybe try to find another way to do it like can I like cover this with actual glitter or should I maybe try to just do it? I'm going to try to keep doing it around and see how it look. And if it don't look good, I'm going to stop and then maybe somebody will give me some advice in the comments and let me know what I can do. So I'm going to just try to see. Hold on, y'all. Let me try to keep doing it and let's just see how it looks. But it looks like if it did look right, it looks like it would be cute. Like kinda you can't really see yet but y'all so this is the second piece I mean it don't look terrible but y'all I don't like how it looks <laughs> I don't like how wrinkly the tape is looking y'all I'm gonna stop it right here this don't look right <laughs> this look ghetto y'all I'm not even gonna play myself and sit here and keep doing this okay so basically this was a DIY fail okay and I, my idea that was in my mind did not come to life. I don't even know if I would have actually liked it. Like, oh my God, this is hideous. Like, what the hell? 
This is a fail. This is an absolute fail. So this is what I need y'all to do. What can I put on these besides candles? Like, what can I put on these? Like, I need something that's going to, like, sit on top of it and, like, look really cute. And then I want to put something in the middle. So, y'all, I need y'all help. Let me know what I can do. Or do y'all think I can still use these and just not use the glitter? Like, is there another way? It don't look right. It don't look sexy it don't look classy it looks very very cheap and it's giving very much cheap and ghetto so y'all i'm gonna go ahead and leave this where it's at because i ain't even gonna waste my time but i want y'all to let me know like what do i need to do or what can i do y'all because this right here is a mess okay this right here is an absolute mess hey y'all i'm about to go ahead and end out the vlog here i really hope y'all enjoyed this weekly vlog Make sure if y'all did, y'all hit the like button and make sure y'all are subscribed to my channel if you're new. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.